These are the components which I'm going to use for this experiment. A breadboard, LED, two 10K ohm resistors, two 1K ohm resistors, two BC547 transistors, two push button switches, some jumper wires, and a 9 volt battery. I'm gonna start by connecting my transistors to the breadboard. Then I will connect the positive rail of the breadboard to the collector of first transistor. Next, I'm going to connect my emitter from the first transistor to the collector of second transistor. These are my push button switches. I will place them on breadboard. Here is my 10 kilo ohm resistor. I will connect it to the one side of the push button switch and the other side goes to the base of first transistor. Similarly, I will do this for the next resistor. This side goes to the one side of the push button switch and the other side goes to the base of second transistor. I will connect my one kilo ohm resistor to the emitter of first transistor and the other side goes to the ground the second one kilo ohm resistor goes to the emitter of second transistor and the other side goes to a blank spot on breadboard i'm going to connect my push button switches to the positive rail of the breadboard this side goes to the positive rail and this side goes to positive rail. Finally, I'm going to connect my LED, the anode, which is a longer leg, goes to this side of the transistor, and the other side of the LED, which is cut out, goes to the ground. I will connect my 9 volt battery to the circuit. So we are basically done with the circuit. Now I'm gonna check whether the circuit works. When both switches are open, it means if I don't press them, there is no current flowing through the transistors right over here and the LED remains off. If I press either one of these switches, let's say this switch, the respective transistor connected to it will turn on. In this case, it will be our second transistor. But since the transistors are connected in series to each other, there is no current flowing through the first transistor and the LED remains off. Now if I press the both switches at the same time, there is going to be a current flowing, flowing through the both of the transistors right over here. The transistor will be turned on and hence the LED turns on. 